Okay, I'm in my 1999 Ford Explorer. I uh, have my uh, my little code reader that has live data. Going to be looking at some fuel trims. Uh, looking at a couple things. The reason for this is uh, I have a rough idle. When when my car is at idle, it, it's running pretty rough, and uh, I'm trying to figure out if I have a vacuum leak or maybe a fuel fuel delivery problem or uh, you know something like false air getting in unregistered unmetered air uh, leak or uh, low fuel I'm, I'm just gonna start her up and let it run let it warm up and I'm gonna be looking at my fuel trims to see what it's going on at and then after it's warmed up I'm gonna rev up my engine a little bit and I'm gonna watch my fuel trims and usually if you if you rev your engine that makes the vacuum go away so vacuum leaks aren't as prevalent when when your when your throttle plates open so if you're looking for a vacuum leak possible vacuum leak your fuel trims can kind of tell you if uh if you have uh, a positive uh, fuel trims at idle and it's a uh, you know showing a lean condition um, because of a vacuum leak well if you rev your engine up and hold it there and you're looking at your fuel trims and they start to stabilize and go down that points to a vacuum leak I don't know what I have it could be a fuel problem but I, I'm gonna show you try, try to show you what I got so I'm gonna start my car here you can see it's running like shit Could be a lot of stuff. But I'm gonna look at some things. I check engine on because I I was unplugging some stuff, so I'm gonna go ahead and clear that out. I set that doing something I was doing. I'm gonna get to my live data. There's my, uh, it's saying it's in closed loop right now, but you can tell it's running, running pretty bad. It's got a rough idle. You can tell right away my bank two long term fuel trims is like 20%. So that's that's pretty high. I'm surprised that hasn't set a code. But that's saying my, my bank two, bank one's pretty high too, and, and they're adjusting. I'm just gonna let it run for a while. Get my parent, let everything warm up. But you can tell it's running real bad. But that's a lean condition right there. I mean, that's bank two's running at like 23 point something percent. It's the short terms are trying to adjust it. As you can tell, the, two, the bank one's slowly going up. I'm just gonna let this run for a while so everything warms up and gonna let my fuel trim stabilize. They're still adjusting right now because it's so far out. As you can see, it's still going up. Both banks, I mean, your fuel trims, you don't want, you really want it to be closer to zero, but you definitely don't want it to be up, you know, over 10. When it starts getting that high, you know you got a problem with something. I don't know, is it my, do I got an air leak? Do I got a fuel problem? Do I have a mass airflow problem? It could be, a, it could be a lot of stuff, so. Uh, just some of these tests you can do to uh, try to help 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 figure it out. I'm going to see if uh, after this warms up and stabilizes, and let, I'm going to actually rev my engine. I'm going to see. I'm going to rev it. I'm going to watch my engine speed. I'm going to rev that to about about 2,500 RPMs, and I'm going to see if these start stabilizing. But 
but I, I've got so I'm gonna come back in about 10 minutes I'm gonna let this stabilize let my engine warm up as you can see it's it's cold right now but it's running real bad and that left that bank's real high But I'll come back when these have stabilized. Okay, as you can see, uh, my, my car's been running about 15 minutes now. Everything's it's warmed up. The trims have have, uh, according to my uh, live data here, my everything is kind of a. Uh, Kind of settled out finally. Got to let it sit for a while. Let me show you here. My fuel trims are really high. My uh, my bank two fuel trims have like maxed out, and that really I think that should have set a code, but it, it didn't. There's no codes to help me out, but I'm looking at this. My fuel trims uh, for bank one's about 15. Which is way higher than normal. Uh, bank two is a lot higher, but they're both high. Bank two is a lot worse. But there's something affecting both banks. This is this is a V6 engine, and both banks are, are real high. I believe I have a vacuum leak somewhere. Now, one test you can do is you want to try to rev after your engine's all warmed up, everything's set up. You can rev your engine to up to about 2500 rpms which when you when you rev your engine your throttle plate opens it takes the vacuum kind of out of the equation a little bit more so if you if you hold your engine at about about 1500 to 2500 somewhere around there 2000 just 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 rev your engine and if you're if these fuel trims get better that's a dead giveaway you got a vacuum leak so I'm gonna try to try to do that. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to uh, rev my engine to about about 25 2500 RPMs and hold it there, and we'll see what happens. Now already, you can see these fuel trims getting a lot better. They're getting better. That's a dead giveaway that I got a, a vacuum leak. I'm gonna try to hold it there. It's hard to hold it right on. But as you can see, that's a big improvement. My short-term fuel trims are adjusting. They haven't stabilized yet, but as you can see, my fuel trims are getting a lot better. That tells me that I got a, a vacuum leak somewhere. I mean, that's still really high, but as you can see, the these fuel trims are trying to compensate and it's bringing it down. It's hard to hold that number at 25. If I would have done this and my and my fuel trims didn't didn't go down, well, I'd be looking at a fuel pressure problem or something, fuel delivery. But to me, it looks like I got a vacuum leak. They got they got considerably better. But that's like that in, that improved quite a, quite a bit. That improved. And I let go. It goes right back up.